In addition to the XAMP stack that Bitnami distributes, Bitnami also has its own stack for Mac OS X. It's simply called the MAMP stack, and you can download it from bitnami.com slash stacks. On this page, I'll do a search for MAMP, and I'll find MAMP stack. I'll click the link to go to that page, and I'll find a description. One of the advantages of the Bitnami stack is that you can easily include popular MVC frameworks like Zend Framework, Symfony, and Cake PHP. The default installer includes PHP 5.4, an older version. But if you want a more recent version, click on MAMP Stack Installers and scroll down, and you'll find experimental versions for 5.5 and 5.6. I'm going to demonstrate the recommended version with PHP 5.4 and I've downloaded it to my desktop. Now, I'm not going to run this installer in a conventional way, and that's because if you run it from the desktop by simply clicking through the prompts, you'll end up with Apache running on port 8080, not the standard default port of 80. If you want the default port, you need to start up the installer as super user. So I'm going to do this work from the command line. I'll go into terminal. And in order to find the installer, I'll double click on the DMG file and that will mount it as a volume. Now I'll close this finder window. I'll go back to terminal and I'll type CD slash volumes and I'll list the contents. And I see a new volume there named MAMP. That's the DMG file. I'll type CD MAMP and list that contents and I see an application named MAMP.app. Now I'll go into that file with CD MAMP.app, and from there I'll go to Contents, and then Mac OS. And I'll list the contents there. And I see a file called InstallBuilder.sh. Now to run the installer as super user, I'll type sudo, then dot slash InstallBuilder.sh. When I press return, I'll be prompted for my administrator password, and I'll type it in, and that launches the installer. Now again, you don't need to follow these steps if you're okay with Apache running on the alternative port of 8080, but if you want it to run on port 80, you need to do this. Now I'll go through the next set of screens, and on this screen, I'll deselect everything except PHP my admin. If you use any of these MVC frameworks, you can include them in your initial installation. I'll click Next, and I'll change the name of the folder that I'm installing to, to just MAMP stack. I won't include the version number. I'll click Next again, and on this screen I'm prompted for my database root user password. I'll type the password twice and click Next again. On this screen, I'm asked if I want to see information about Bitnami's cloud hosting services. I'll uncheck it and click Next, and now when I click Next again, the installation begins. It'll take a few minutes for everything to be copied over to the hard disk and set up on my system, but when the installation is complete, I'll have a working AMP stack and I'll have a copy of PHP my admin already installed. When the installation is complete, you can leave the option selected to launch the MAMP stack immediately and click Finish. And that will start up the Bitnami homepage in a browser. Take a look at the URL. If you don't see a port listed there, then everything worked. You're running Apache on the default port 80. Now go to the Applications tab, and you should see Bitnami PHP My Admin module listed. Click Access and that'll open PHP My Admin. Type the username of root and the password that you entered during the installation, then click Go, and you should see PHP My Admin open. If you've gotten this far, you have a full Apache, MySQL, and PHP installation. Let's take a look at the control panel. The initial screen lets you go to the application, and that means go to the home page. You can also open PHP My Admin from here, and you can open the application folder. 
Notice that the name of the application is MAMPSTAT. That's the folder that I designated when I did the installation. To restart the control panel in the future, use this application, manager-osx. You'll find your htdocs folder, your document root folder here. It's under Apache 2 htdocs. And this is where you would put your HTML files, your graphical files, and other web assets. Under Apache 2, you'll also find the configuration folder and the httpd.conf file. That's where you would configure Apache. And down here, you'll find your PHP folder. So that's a look at how to get started with Bitnami. Now again, one of the disadvantages of Bitnami right now is that its default installation only supports PHP 5.4, but there are developmental versions that support the more recent versions of PHP. It's not as easy to switch PHP versions as it is, say, with the other MAMP, the application that's actually called MAMP. But this is a good AMP stack that will get you started. And if your goal is to get started quickly using the popular CMS applications like WordPress, you'll find that the Bitnami add-ons for those applications are very easy to install.